Good morning, everybody. There is a terrible snowstorm going on right now, but we have to go into town and get fuel for the salamander because we ran out of wood and we can't get any more. Because the truck that we could use can't be driven in the snow, so that's the end of that for a while. It's supposed to snowstorm all week from what I've heard. Well, it's going to be driven in the snow. It's just, in this kind of weather, you get stuck in like two inches of snow with the damn thing. Yeah, so. It's only a two-wheel drive. <coughs> So are you going to wait until the very last second to get wood it, it more, uh, any more in the future? Well, being, this truck has been driving, that's a whole new thing. It's usually is a fucking yellow and green one. Yeah, but I'm asking you, are you going to wait for us to, in the future, are you going to wait for us to run completely out of wood before you go get more? Can't promise that. It's not easy getting your hand on a truck around these parts. Well, all right then. I was rich and able to go and buy all the fuel I wanted for gas to be able to heat the house. That's where I would have to go. But well, you'd you'd have to have the it. the furnace vents and all that, the furnace ducts and all that under the house replaced. You said they're all shit, right? Yeah, they're shit. But you, there's different types of furnaces you can get that don't work off of duct work. <clears throat> huh. But can't afford uh, regular gas, so that's why we burn wood. Yeah, it's very shitty out. Luckily, I'm off today, but I work from Thursday to Monday. No, from Thursday to Sunday in this garbage. And last night, he put caulking over that crack, all those cracks in the window. And I can't talk right now, so I guess I should stop vlogging because I keep stumbling over my own fucking words. That's not funny. I don't yeah, think I, I don't think I'm awake enough to talk yet. I'm over here laughing at you. There has to be a foot of snow on top of the car. It's terrible. And I just tried to scrape it all off, but I'm short, so I can't get that off the top of the car. So I can we can drive around looking like idiots with basically a house on top of the car because it's so high so much. This all just sucks. Yeah, get the snow blow the right way. Do you? Yeah. Well, yeah. At least you have the snowblower from Becky and Troy now, and you're not out. You won't have to be out there with a shovel, right? Yeah. Still have to do some shovel work, but not as much as you used to. Yeah. I hope they deliver the package today, UPS. I don't know if they're going to or not. They were supposed to do it yesterday, and they just drove on by. So now with the snow all over, they might not even want to deliver it. I don't know. Of course, the road is not plowed. <laughs> they never plow around here. They don't care about us back here in the middle of nowhere. And we're going to get gas now. We just went and got all the pokey stops that we could, and I battled at a gym, but I lost as always. And now we're going to get gas here for the car, <clears throat> and then fuel oil there, there, no, there for the salamander. There he's getting the gas and then I am completely broke until Friday, but that's how life goes. But the weather sure sucks. Now he's getting the fuel oil. And suddenly it's not snowing as hard, but it won't stay that way. You having fun? Oh yeah. <laughs> Cold out there? <laughs> Alright. Now I see the tower pond is iced over. Wanna walk on it? No, it isn't that iced over. I guarantee you'll go through. No shit. <laughs> are you crazy? No. But you are. Are you going out on it? No. Yeah. Absolutely not. Absolutely, yes. And we stopped back at the shell again and got hot drinks because it's cold and shitty out. And strangely, the sun is out right now a little bit. Oh. But it's going to go away. It's already in the process of going away. 
because it was a lot brighter a minute ago. Got nine and a half gallons of fuel. Yeah. I'm gonna judge. I'm not really sure how much we'll really go through, but I'm gonna estimate about two gallons a day. You know, for 24 hour period. I'm just guessing. I really don't know. Yeah. So. I guess somebody lives in there too now. Because the porch light was on the other day. These two yellow trailers were abandoned for years and years and years and years and years. And then this summer, somebody cleaned them up. Now somebody lives in there. And I guess somebody lives in there, too. Because I see curtains in there now. Yeah, I know that first one right there was originally condemned. Health yeah. department I was seen in there. Condemning the place where they were wearing fucking full body suits, face masks, and all that shit. Yeah, from cats. But apparently they fixed it. Yeah. Because they won't pull a condemn off unless it's fixed. And they condemned that shit probably about 20 years ago. Yeah. And they've been shut down ever since. And now something's actually being done with them about 20 years later. Yeah. Weird. But we're heading home now. I hope that the whole weekend isn't like this because it will really suck going back and forth to work in this kind of shit. Tug, how many times are you going to go outside and let that happen? Silly. You're so snow covered. You like that or something? Yeah, you don't even want to go outside. You know better. Why's your tail all fluffed? What are you afraid of, Sammy? You're all wet. You just lay down and dry. And I wish we had a garage because this snowblower doesn't belong in the living room. But he's out there shoveling. I won't zoom in too close to him because his butt keeps hanging out. But then he's going to use the snowblower next. So at least we have one this year. Even if it's not a giant one, it's better than nothing at all. Silly kitty. Now Don's out there using the snowblower. Making a lot of distance so far. A lot more than he would with the shovel. But he needs a belt or something because half his body is exposed to the snow. He's always doing that. But Becky and Troy are letting us use this snowblower, so we're really thankful for that. Because last year and the year before, shoveling out there all the way, all the way. Out there to the mailbox sucks. That's a long way. Right, Tug? Oh, I don't care. Why are you asking me? Well, I don't know. Where's Sammy? I don't know. And of course, the tree. It's very bright. It shines like a great big, I don't know what, from the road. It is a hugely bright Christmas tree every night when I come home from work but that's cool and I'm standing in the wood box <laughs> which is filled with nothing but leaves but that's where Sammy likes to sleep lately but he's not there now I know he's not outside he doesn't like the snow so he's probably under the bed even though it's really dark in here yeah he's probably under there Sammy hey are you under there? Sammy? Oh! You're not Sammy! <laughs> How come you think that's your name? But I don't, he's probably under there. He was earlier, but we can't see anything. And then... Cheeto is in here, buried again, and you can't see him all except right there in that little hole. So why he wants to be buried all the time, I don't know. Don't even know. think that's his head. Nope. Oh, 
point. Yeah, it is. There he goes. That was his head. That was his neck and then his head. He was like, ooh, don't touch me. Come out. Come on out of there. Come on. Come on. Why are you always buried? You look like a lizard with no legs. For a snake, you're awful cute, you know. Oh. Now he's, nope, there he is, he's peeking. Well, I'll leave him alone. We have this heater here to help keep him warm. Because we don't have a heat mat for him yet. We don't want him to freeze to death, but it's way too hot in the living room. Right? Or do you not know? Oh. You're such a big dog. I grew up with a little dog. You're a big dog. Look who Dan found. Yeah, he wanted attention. Yeah. He wanted to start brush up against my legs. And now he wants to leave. <laughs> yep. So it goes. Yeah, that's a cat catitude for you. <laughs> catitude. Yeah. <laughs> so this is kind of cool. I'm, I've been subscribed to Sirius Satellite Radio for like a year and a half or whatever now. And I was originally subscribed in 2007. And for Christmas, they gave us this CD download. So that's pretty cool. I do like Brian Setzer, so we'll see how how this sounds. But I can't let you guys hear it. For dinner, we're having pork and all gratin potatoes and broccoli. And goo! Goo? Yeah, and goo. <laughs> you want some goo? No. Yeah, you do. And I'm gonna watch more Penny Dreadful. I think I'm almost done with it. And they only made three seasons, and then that's the end of it, which kind of sucks. Turn it off. No. Yes. <laughs> Most people sit watch TV curled up with a cat or a dog. But Don curls up with a snake. What do you think of that? Uh, yeah, you and your snake. I'm gonna say, evil comes in all forms. <laughs> snake. Snake. We're gonna say goodnight, and we hope that you enjoyed the video, and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Good night, Tug. You just stole my spot. <laughs> Say good night. Good morning. <laughs> good night, Cheeto. We'll see you tomorrow.